Welcome to La Barra de Santiago, where we're gonna take you on a tour to see the mangroves, to watch the cocodrilos eat, and we're gonna give you guys a tour of downtown La Barra de Santiago. I got Apple Bum Claire with me. This is a video that you wanna see and you do not wanna miss this. Welcome to La Barra de Santiago. This is a video that you don't wanna miss. We are gonna be exploring one of the cities that is on the coastline of El Salvador. About 30 minutes from Cara Sucia, which is a city that is close to the country of Guatemala, but yet not too far from San Salvador where you can come and get some great food, where you can swim in the canals to visit cocodrilos, as well as you can visit some indigenous people that still live in El Salvador to this day. Come on this adventure with us. When you're coming to La Barra de Santiago, there's just this street that you have to walk down or you can drive down and it comes down to the main city. When it comes down to the main city or like downtown as they call it, this is pretty much where everything is at in downtown. As far as you want shopping, if you want food, comida, if you want to be able to go to the beach or go to the river, it's on both sides. And uh, we have, we're gonna be introducing you guys to a special person today that's gonna be able to take you guys to the cocodrilos or any other excursions that you guys want to do on the riverside okay his name is raul we did spend some time with raul last year and he took us to go see the cocodrilos or the crocodiles so we're gonna go this year with him as well to go and see the crocodiles as well he does take us to go do other things he'll take you to basically any park of the la, la bucana which is like at the end where the river and the ocean meet and other areas. So make sure you guys check out Raul's information down in the description below. As well, if you guys wanna go on any excursions, if you guys just simply text him with the phone number down below, he'll be able to set something up for you guys. He always brings us coconuts too when we go on these excursions with him. So if you want coconuts, just let him know. And he'll probably be able to bring you some coconuts because he actually has like several coconut trees on his property, on his land, where he lives down here, so. Este, buenas tardes. Este, le servimos el tour aquí en, en la Barra Santiago, el recorrido al habitamiento de los cocodrilos, aves del bosque salado, y también el, Paseo a lo que es un lugar muy bonito hacia la bocana, un lugar muy limpio. Y pueden venir a pasear cuando ustedes gusten aquí. Estaremos enviándoles a las órdenes. Es un lugar muy bonito y sano. Y si los atiendo será un gusto atenderles. Gracias a Dios también soy una buena persona. No tomo ni fumo. El 22 de abril, el día viernes, cumplí 26 años de sobriedad. Sin discriminación a los que beben. Dios me ayudaba en las iglesias y en Alcohólicos Anónimos. Mi número de teléfono es 7179-1394. ¿Y cómo se llama? Raúl Arias. Ok, gracias Raúl. Panchito, Panchito from Tulum. Hola. Oh my God, he looking at us. Wow. He looking at us. He smells it, I think. Can you see it on your side? I can't really see it on my side. I viene. Oh, 
Don't drop my phone. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. No, no. ¿Lo tocas? Sí. Tú no lo vas a tocar. No lo vas a tocar, hijo, cuidado. No. Look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. He's looking. He's looking. No, he didn't need it. Uh, 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 Ayer traje, pero Kaite, Marco me regaló como dos libras de Kaite, Marco, le mando la mente. Mira cómo se subió el palo. Qué bonito, mira cómo se el palo. Entonces no trae nada, no hay un buen nivel. Está grande. Está pequeño. Por ahí estaba uno, ¿no lo viste? Ah, aquí está uno, arriba el palo también. Ahí está. Que mire, vamos a firmar nosotros, vamos a mirar, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Sí, porque no, no lo vamos a lograr, pero. Estos árboles eran de los que cuando yo tenía 12 años, los, los, los pocos que quedaron, porque en el año 1982 tenía 12 años yo, fracasó el barco peruano, todo el bosque es nuevo, nosotros lo sembramos con un proyecto que vino del, del FIX, eh, tenía 12 años yo. Eh, son, son, son árboles antiguos esos de mangle. Ahí, ahí vive un mapache, ahí detrás de ese árbol que, que tiene esa, esa pintura roja. Es la historia de una historia real de los peruanos, ahí está enfrente del... Ahí es donde los embarcamos, ahí están las flechitas, ahí toda la historia de los peruanos. Oh, las sí. placas ahí, los, bueno. los capitanes. Hey, te quiero decir, vamos, vamos. Vamos, pero sí después, pero caminen distanciados, unos 3 metros o 4 metros distanciados, no, no, no montonaditos para no darle mucha carga. Oh, I'd like to be Tres, separate. Ok, to space. Can you put this in your bag? Yes. Be careful. Separate, babe. Space Oh, shit. It's wobbly. Careful there, babe. This is so weird, y'all. Kinda, yeah. Take your time.
It's just so crazy how they built this. Y por qué y por qué está esto aquí? Para qué lo usan? Esta madera es buenísima, dura mucho, mucho tiempo. En la en la costa. Yo por allá me meto tres leñas, pero leña seca. Así está allá por el canalito. ¿Dónde se lleva? ¿Se lleva por el agua? Creo que está en la leña. Pero leñita, leñita seca, verde, ¿no? Ahí está. I don't know if you guys can tell but they literally like this this uh bridge is like built on the trees or the the vines around us they literally like put the wood on the trees right here so if one of these trees is soft and gives out we're fucked <laughs> that's all i'm saying Squeeze your body, honey, so you won't be as heavy. What? I said, squeeze your body so you won't be as heavy. Is that what happens when you squeeze your body? Yeah, that's what flyers do. You're teaching me stuff I didn't even know. That's what flyers do. They have to squeeze so then they won't be as heavy up in the air and we can hold them longer. Woo! Uphill. This is cool. This is very cool. See, baby, what are those mounds right there? What are mounds? Those mounds so over there, like, it's fine. So you see this tree right here? There's another tree which is small, the one behind it. When you walk a little bit further, at the base of the tree, you're gonna see this mound. I wanna know what that is. Cause you don't see them everywhere, you see them here and there. Oh shit. Is that just part of the tree? Or is that like an ant farm? Or you see what I'm talking Ya vamos. Ya vamos. And they're probably risking it because the alligator, the crocodiles can just come up here and... Huh? The bird. Oh. What do you say? Come on. Like, come in, come here. Okay. You're talking about like this, right? Huh? Something like that. Oh, baby, you're stepping hard. I'm not stepping hard. It's just we on the we on the same platform at the same time. Ooh, like that. Let me give you some more space, cause we heavy. I feel like this was a better experience this time than the last time. Already. We didn't get to do this last time. I love how there's all this vegetation right here too. All the greenery and everything. But that's what I was talking about too, babe. Those mounds. For what? The little parrot? Yeah. 
If y'all know what that is, right there, please tell me what that is. Touch it, touch it. Oh my god, touch it, baby, touch it.